Let's there. squeeze a couple Congrats. more in while yeah. we're here. Now, uh, Kelvin's a man of the people, Stephen, uh, but because so, he's a man of the people, he wants to keep uh, Oxbridge elite, and that's elite. the story we're yeah. talking about here. I mean, Kelvin, you know, it's, Kelvin's a story, it's the lead story in the Daily Telegraph. Yeah. Let me explain. <laughs> Hold on. The lead story in the Daily Telegraph, right, which, and it's correct to be this, mm. is that leading universities, Cambridge, Oxford, probably Imperial College, Right, mm. three out of the greatest five mm. institutions in the world, in the last analysis, mm. will be forced to take fixed quotas of students from state schools in exchange for the power to charge tuition fees of over nine thousand. This is another crackpot scheme from the worst of the ministers, which is Vince Cable, who's clearly completely out of touch. I want my universities just to take clever people. If they turn out to be rich, clever people, or the sons of rich, clever people, I don't care. Yeah, but hold on, you're presuming here that, that... I don't care. I want them to be. <laughs> Great. You're presuming that the quota of people, the, the, the quota of students are coming from state schools. They might be exceptionally bright, but because they've not gone to the feeder schools, because they've not gone no. to the Eton's and the Harrow's. No, no, so yeah. not, no, no they, they, this is a no, sad They're going, old they're going to get. They're yeah. going to get into. Yeah. If they're exceptionally bright, they're, get, they're going to still going to get yeah. into Oxford and Cambridge. So there's a you little think, bit of politics. Well, hang on, hang on a second. So. No, I'm sorry. You know, Ke Kelvin is a, is a man who metaphorically has this boater and this stripe blazer, and you know, <laughs> you, you can you can just see him punting through life. I mean, and making merry quips in Latin. Uh, no, old you, Greek. Yes. I mean, you're quite right. That, that, that's his stuff. How, how do you know me so well? You've yeah, been well, called a punter before, I think, yeah. Kelvin. Well, I think I've, I've been called something <laughs> similar to that, in fact, on this station. <laughs> anyway, what, what happened until very, very recently, you had about 7% of the people in this, in this country, young people, went to private schools, and over 70% of those kids then went on to university. I don't care what you say, that's wrong. No, that's no, right. I, I, that's right. No, what it's it is, not. it's the rest of the system that's wrong. It's the yeah. damned useless comprehensives that are turning out half witted kids and it's the great private schools which are driving up Great universities it, like Oxford and Cambridge. And we should be worried well, not I'm, about I'm, I'm, Oxford and rubbish. Cambridge. No, we, we should, should be worried about the no, people standing. We should be worried about the mass of the people. It's you the you ask your viewers. <laughs> you ask your voters. Sorry, you wouldn't no. know a vote if you fell over. Listen, one. you can stick to your toffs if you want. I care about the people of this country. I'm no, very entitled to the best. The people are entitled to the best. You wouldn't know, you wouldn't know a voter if you fell across one in Ealing. Well, Sorry. OK, I'm not quite Sorry. sure where you stand on that, uh, Kelvin, <laughs> but we'll talk about it more in a break. Uh, coming up after you, the break... outside. <laughs> well, it simmers down. Maybe it might not. Uh, we'll be back after the break. We'll find out what happens to women when they turn 50. It's going to get worse. <laughs> yep.